Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Pisces for mid-April through mid-May 2021. And as always, this is for sun signs, but also moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. All right, so getting a feel for the energies, please. Starting out with three oracle cards. What does Pisces need to hear? Self-love, love, romance, and relationships for this time frame. we have for Pisces from mid-April through mid-May. All right, Pisces, so we have Rebel. All right, two more. Two more for Pisces. All right, and we have Capricorn, and then we have Introvert. Very interesting. All right, so let's look at these three cards. We got rebel energy, someone who goes against the grain, someone who doesn't just follow the mainstream. This person could be a Capricorn or embody the elements and the energy of Capricorn. Capricorn is someone who usually can be serious, hardworking. Capricorns definitely can be on the introvert side. Many I've known anyway, um, but this introvert energy could be vice versa. So could have a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Um, could be somebody who you've even met in the workplace, but we'll take a look and see what else comes out. I'm going to pull some tarot cards, so let's keep these in mind. Introvert, someone who has a difficult time sometimes expressing themselves, holds a lot in. All right. Not someone who usually likes to be in the crowd, so I can see that rebel energy being there. All right, what is the main energy for Pisces, please? Main energy and guidance. This person definitely could be um, not your usual type, even. All right, so main guidance we have right now is the Eight of Swords. So three came out. The Hermit, which totally is introvert, right? We have the Hermit, someone who's going deep within, very solitary at the moment, trying to figure out what they want, um, what they desire. Eight of Swords can be someone who's stuck in their own mind. Um, could be some fear surrounding moving forward or... Needing to see things really from a different perspective. So they could be in a place or whoever this is in a place of ego at this moment rather than spirit. Now, Ten of Wands could have a lot going on in their life, feeling the weight of the world on their shoulders. And this could be why this rebel energy is coming out because they might feel like, okay, like I need to rebel. I need to do things differently. So we'll see. I'm going to pull three for the situation surrounding these cards. So the Hermit is Virgo energy. All right, so let's pull three for the situation surrounding this. So there could be maybe not much talking going on right now if there is a connection. This could be for some of you that you're, you know, are single, feeling this energy going on, worried about yourself, your health, your own well-being, really putting the focus on you. Maybe you have a lot going on. All right, three for the situation surrounding these cards. Okay, Nine of Wands, yeah. All right. Nine of Wands, guard up. Definitely sensing the guard up here. Kind of could feel like this person versus the world. Nine of Wands can come up um, when someone is going through a lot of challenges. It's like, all right, this is something I have to get through. I have to clear this off my plate before I can move forward. So someone could just be going through a heavy load right now. Let's pull two more. All right, we have Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune represents the tides are changing, the wheel is moving. We have the four fixed signs. We've got Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So it represents the cycles. Sometimes things are up and going well, and sometimes things are challenging. So this could be a challenging phase at this time. So now these two popped out. We have the Fool and the Ace of Wands. So what I'm getting is that 
in due time, because timing is different for everybody, things are about to change. Now, the fool is about taking a risk. That could be that rebel energy. Time to make a change. And we have the ace of wands. So yeah, there's energy being infused here. I feel like somebody is ready to make a change. Wheel of Fortune represents Jupiter, and that means karmic cycles, expansion, change. But I do feel like right now someone is holding their cards close to their chest, or maybe there's a lack of communication. Even at the bottom, there's the King of Swords. So this can be when someone's acting more cold, not reaching out. All right, um, I'm going to clarify. I'm going to take a look at the Hermit energy. What is going on with the Hermit? I think someone has to deal with something on their own. Definitely spiritual growth with the hermit. Let's clarify that energy. Yeah, eight of pentacles popped out. So this person is a work in progress. They're working on whatever it is, focused, wanting to make improvements. This is the message of keep going. But there is progress with the eight. And eights represent great transformation. So things are about to shift with this Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify that. And then we'll move on to some Oracle cards. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Yeah, Four of Cups. So this is someone who right now is definitely in a state of like really focused on themselves. Maybe not open to outside influence. Very focused on the three cups. There's this other offer, but yet the person isn't even looking at it because they're so engrossed in something in their life. So the message here is to seek out other emotional possibilities, things that make you feel alive. I just feel like this person is almost feeling like they're, someone feels almost dead inside because maybe they're going through so much change and shedding old skin. All right, so I'm gonna move to some Oracle cards. I'm gonna pull one from the, Angel Answers Oracle. What do we need to hear for this reading for Pisces, please? Peaceful resolution. Yeah, so see, something is going to shift and change. There is a peaceful resolution, but I feel like this is a work in progress at this time. Even at the bottom, there's something better, right? So whoever here is feeling like even if you're feeling like you're in a relationship but feeling stuck and there's a connection that just feels dead, I would say for those that are in that, that kind of situation, for you, maybe there's a different opportunity out there when you're ready. And this would be a better time to focus on yourself, your well-being, and your happiness. And what really um, gives you that spark of energy. All right, I'm going to pull one from the Romance Angels. What else for Pisces? We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others, right? So this could be that arm of support reaching out. I'm going to pull one more of these cards. What else do we have for Pisces? So some of you, it is about being open with this other person. Yeah, look, pay attention to the red flags. So if you're around somebody in those red flags, pay attention because someone's trying to warn you. All right, and so the red flags could be coming from someone who's just not open and willing right now. All right, so I'm gonna pull three from the Island Time Wellness deck. Lots of great love messages in here, this mini deck. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? What is the energy going on? All right, so we actually have three cards that came out and I was gonna pull three. So perfect, we have Boat, receiving what you need, progression, just like the Eight of Pentacles. Arriving, moving on, closure issues. For others, see there's ascension happening. Someone is ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So maybe someone here is preparing for a union, but spiritually, energetically. And then we have cassette. Outdated thinking and conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So that's like that eight of swords energy. So these are some really good messages here to get a feel for what's going on. If there's a connection with somebody or if you're trying to figure things out on your own. But this all really ties in really well. Um, these three cards with the rest of this reading. So I feel like this is really on point for whoever needs to hear this. Um, all right. So 
I'm going to close up the reading here and stay tuned. I'm going to be coming out with some Oracle readings in the next couple of weeks and then the tarot readings for May. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.